Lieutenant General Harold L. George earned his wings in 1918 through the Enlisted Flying Cadet Program. For the next 20 plus years, he flew bombers in various stateside and overseas assignments. In 1932, he graduated from the Air Corps Tactical School, Maxwell Field, Alabama. Then remained on the faculty teaching bombardment, tactics, and strategy. In 1941, he moved to the War Plans Division of the newly created Army Air Corps Air Staff. There, he used his strategy and tactics background to help plan the air war over Germany. In 1942, he assumed command of the Air Corps Ferrying Command, soon redesignated the Air Transport Command, implementing the plans he helped create. Air Transport Command became a major factor in winning the war in Europe. The air power that grew out of General George's plan fatally weakened the ability of Hitler's Third Reich to support the Nazi armed forces and brought economic chaos to the German state itself. In the Pacific, General George's aircraft moved combat forces to support MacArthur. When a B-29 depot destined for Guam was lost at sea, General George directly supported the Pacific B-29s from Sacramento. As in Germany, air power was the decisive element in bringing Hirohito's Japanese empire to unconditional surrender without a costly invasion of the Japanese home islands. After the war, that air power became the primary military instrument for the furtherance of U.S. policy, a policy dedicated to peace and justice. Lieutenant General Harold George, a visionary strategist who planned and employed air power to end World War II, earning his place in the Mobility Hall of Fame. Major General.